So welcome one and all, NIT Pritchi rocks. Their stay in the institute. I also welcome warmly our keynote speaker of the day, Mr. Gopi Chand, who has taken time out to come here. And all the alumni who have come across the globe, have come from across the globe. Warm welcome. Let me give you a brief update about the institute. So NID Trichy an update. So congratulations. These are the photos from yesterday evening. I was very impressed. And thanks to Vital, President, Mr. Krishna Sai and the team for the recreating, for recreating the institute here. From the, uh, from the gate that is pretty down to the institute with the REC bus stop and the gate, main gate and the clock tower. Office of the Dean Alumni Relations, NIT Trichy and his team. 1200 alumni from across the globe and family, 150 faculty from NIT Trichy who are here and also the students of NIT Trichy. My congratulations. NIT Trichy, we started from 1964 with Professor Mani as the principal established as IIT Trichy. So we celebrated our silver jubilee in 1989 with the then, the then president as the chief guest. We became an NIT in 2004 by the Act. 2014, we celebrated the Silver Jubilee with the then President, Sri Pranam Mukherjee. And right now, we are in 2019 in the top 10 engineering institutes in, the, in, in India. Starting three more centers of dynamic excellence, AI and intelligent machines, energy harvesting and advanced automation and interdisciplinary research labs in electronic system design and particulate emission. In the year 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome one and only Mr. Pumela Kovichan, our keyboard speaker. Like the seats in Aris NIT Michi, I think uh, the seats in the auditorium are lesser than the amount of people who want to come here. For me, I just share some of my thoughts on my journey as a coach, as a player, and setting up this institute. For me, I started playing not thinking of so much of becoming the player. I just love to play, and my father worked in a bank. So, my childhood was moved between different cities. I spent three years in Raigada, Orissa. Then I spent three years in Chennai. Then I spent three years in coastal Andhra, Ongol. And then I was moved to Hyderabad. And um, my family didn't think of sport as a career, but they really encouraged me. Probably the science very early on were very clear because um, in Chennai my brother wrote the exam for Padma Sheshadri, he got in, I didn't get in. We went to Hyderabad, we wrote the entrance exam to go to St. Paul's as a school, he got in, I didn't. And then much later we wrote the entrance to IIT, he went in, I didn't. <laughs> The signals were very, very clear from the very beginning. But for me, I think um, I would say it's destiny because uh, I was playing cricket like all of us were in the 80s. After the 83 World Cup, there was only one sport which was there and that was cricket. And I love to play cricket as well. Broke a few window panes. So mom said, why should the neighbors keep complaining every day? Why don't I take him to the stadium? Luckily, we lived close to a stadium. So I went there 
wanting to join for cricket but fortunately unfortunately cricket was full so my parents said okay let him go and play tennis and we went to the tennis ground and outside the courts there were few cars parked outside and parents thought it's kind of looks like a rich man sport it's not for us we will play something else which is affordable and uh, we went to the badminton court which was empty and that's how my badminton journey started <laughs>